the night Max wore his wolf suit and made a mischievous one of a kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceilings hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. An ocean tumbled by a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. In and out of weeks, almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, they gashed their terrible teeth, and they rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tame them with his magic trick of staring into all of their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all the wild things. And now, Max cried, let the wild rumpus start. And it started. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where somebody loved him best of all. And then, all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up king of being the wild things. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so much. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gashed their terrible teeth and ro rolled their terrible eyes as they showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private little boat and waved goodbye. He sailed back over a year in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot the end